everybody, and welcome to a uh, special edition of Social Media Explorer TV. We're getting ready for the Exploring Social Media Business Summit in Boston, Massachusetts on uh, October the 17th, and we would love to see you there. Uh, even if you're not in the Boston area, we feel like the lineup of speakers and the content uh, is probably worth making a trip for. Uh, two of the speakers that you will see that day are here with us, uh, as you can tell on our special little Skype call. I love technology. Uh, Ann Hanley and Cece Chapman, who are co-authors of the book Content Rules uh, and content experts in their own rights, uh, join us today. So Ann and Cece, uh, thanks for uh, hanging out with me here on the old Skype call. Definitely, man. Yeah, thanks for So Ann, tell me, uh, I know both you and, and, and uh, Cece are in the Boston area. I know it's going to yeah. be an exciting event for folks there. But tell me a little bit about what we're going to learn from you guys in Boston. Right. So, um, so Cece and I are going to be talking about content, which is our thing, right? Um, and what we're going to be talking about specifically is really creative ways that you can use your content. Um, you know, I think a, a, a lot of people's default when it comes to content is they think uh, text, blog posts, white papers if they're a B2B company, or a lot of times they, they think video. You know, they can just throw up something on YouTube. But we're going to be talking about ways that you can kind of reimagine your content, like we talk about in the book. So maybe um, take some of that text content and reimagine it in different and interesting ways. Um, but we're also going to be talking about, you know, what we like to th talk about is um, like putting your soul into your content, right? Really creating some stuff that, that'll really connect you to your customers and really differentiate you. And Cece, when, when, I, when I ask people or when I talk to people about content, it's, it's, I always notice a little bit of a leap that they have to make in terms of understanding that we're not talking about a newsletter, we're not talking about a blog, even a tweet is, is content. Yeah. A video right. is content. So talk about the different types of content that you talk about in the book and that you'll talk about in Boston. So, yeah, I mean, the way we describe content that kind of sums it all up is it's anything that you create and share to tell your company or tell your story, right? And like you said, that can be a tweet. It can, it can be a newsletter. It is videos. But it's everything that you say and do online about your company, online or offline. Even events are content, right? Because all of it, you know, any event, no matter what it is, is serving a purpose, usually to either market or, you know, sell your, your products or services. I mean, th this event here, right? I mean, you, you and Awareness are doing it to raise your profiles, right? And I'm sure out of this event, lots of other content's going to come. There's this pieces of content that we're filming right now. There's going to be content that happens there. Um, every little thing adds to it. And then it's funny because people seem to forget that, Yes, a tweet, or yes, even just an email message, you know, an, an old, not a newsletter, even an email message, in some ways, is content for your company. So, uh, will you guys be talking about, and, and uh, well, I guess I'm asking you if you will talk about, um, but will you guys be talking about how companies can also then measure that content and what they're getting out of it? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I sorry, no. I was waiting for Stacey to jump in on that one. This is favorite topic. Oh, and, uh, it's one of those things where, yeah, we will. Like, I know, one, I, I know one of the things we always do is we talk about, we have some favorite examples we've talked about. We've gone back to those companies and said, can you give us results, you know, hard and fast numbers of how did this help you? It's, it's pretty, it's fun, it was creative, but did it get you results? And we do share those to make sure that it is. But on the flip side, I also like to inform people that you can't, while social media is the most measurable thing out there, you can't always measure everything because, you know, how do you measure the value of that tweet that made a customer really happy? You know, it's a single tweet. Can you measure that? You can't always measure things. That's why I kind of reacted the way I do. But we do. We share numbers. We share results uh, because we want to show people that, yes, you can measure some of it, but you can't measure it all. Very good. Right. And, and really, the, I was just going to say that, the, you know, the, the, the beginning of that question really is, you know, are you, are, are you creating with a sense of purpose, right? And exactly. that's really where you can get to the measurable bits of it, right? That's where you can sort of start to pull some metrics around it. Um, I mean, a lot of times we do see companies sort of doing some stuff that, oh, this is really cool. And it's like, yeah, but answering that question, why, is really where you want to start. You know, you don't want to jump right to the tools, jump right to, you know, the tweets and the Facebook page and, um, and creating a blog. You really want to start with, well, why are we doing this? What are we trying to accomplish here? And I think once you answer those fundamental questions, it becomes a lot easier to wrap some metrics around it, you know, and to try to think, you know, how do we measure the effectiveness of this? So, so yeah, we will talk about that, too. Very good. Uh, and tell people where they can find you online. So it's really hard not to find me online, but um, you can uh, find me at Marketing Cross on Twitter or um, connect with me on Marketing Cross, of course, at Ann at MarketingCross.com um, or at AnnHanley.com. Very good. Cece, what about you? 
Easiest place to find me is cc-chapman.com, and on Twitter, I'm cc underscore Chapman. You know, you got to figure out which up or down you're doing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And uh, and I know also CC's involved with Digital Dads, which I know a lot of people uh, are are excited about. But all those yeah. links are from from cc-chapman.com as well. So uh, two of my favorite people in the whole world uh, are going to be uh, at Boston, and they're going to be talking content, and we're going to learn a lot. Uh, I'm going to be there along with uh, Todd Deffrin, Jeremiah Alyang, Laura Fitton. Uh, DJ Waldo, Tim Hayden. I mean, we're we're rolling out the uh, awesome. uh, a really all star lineup. So we'd love to see you guys in Boston. You're going to see Ann and CC. I'm guessing they might bring a few books. Uh, Maybe if you if you if you want content rules. If you don't, by the way, where do you get content rules now? If if they don't already have a copy, everywhere. That, uh, <laughs> e- well, now we can add because it's everywhere. The books and eBooks, and this is actually the first interview and audio books is available. Yeah. The audio book just came out last week. Awesome. So. So, so yeah, it's any in any bookstore, any bookstore that's worth any good will have a copy of our book unless they're sold out, which we've heard rumors of. So, oh. and by the way, you know, Cece and I actually recorded the audiobook, so yes. it's like it's Anne and Cece in stereo. If you if you want to opt into the audio, and Anne does not get in front of the microphone very often. It's kind no. of sultry and you know fun. Ooh, very <laughs> nice. So multiple purposes for even that content. Exactly. <laughs> sure. <laughs> all right. Well, we will see the two of you in Boston, and hopefully we'll see all of you in the audience out there in Boston, too. Uh, you can uh, click on the links around this video here on Exploring Social Media and Social Media Explorer, uh, or you can go to esmboston.eventbrite.com and register. Uh, we're going to have a fun day. We're going to have a lot of giveaways and a lot of great content. I, f- I think I forgot to mention Jeremiah Alyang is the opening keynote for that day, so... Uh, Lots of great speakers and good content there. We will see you in Boston. Thanks, guys. Definitely. Thanks.